to the Cube. This is Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of O'Reilly Media's Fluent Conference. This is the Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and try to signal from the noise. And we're proud to be uh, partnering with the Cube and O'Reilly Media to bring wall-to-wall -wall coverage, our Cube, which is known for trekking the city from the noise. And, and we are here at the Fluent Conference, where in San Francisco, the Hilton Hotel, all the top web developers, mobile developers, JavaScript developers, HTML5, Node.js, you name it, all the front-end UX, UI guys doing hardcore front-end and server-side scripting, et cetera, are all here, Google, and, uh, et cetera, all the top developers. So we're going to hear from them all day long. I'm John Furrier. I'm co-hosting with Jeff Frick. Jeff, welcome back on the Cube Gig. Dave Vellante is in the East Coast. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, I went I went with the Furrier look today. No tie since uh, since I'm not with Dave today, but we're excited to be here. We were here last night setting up, and, and it's wild to see. The, these are real developers. They're sitting around their tables. They are got to get the mic closer, uh, doing coding at the table, uh, sat in on the keynote. I've never seen so much code in the keynote. So, you know, this isn't a rah-rah show. This is a work and show. These are the people that are bringing you the next generation web. Like John said, we've got a number of really key folks from some of the large companies that are driving the innovation, the Amazons, the Googles, et cetera. So we're excited to be here. We've got a great uh, guest lineup. Um, so I guess we'll get to it here pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, the big thing about the Fluent Conference that you want to look at here, and why they do this variety of conferences, Fluent, uh, Velocity, and a variety of other conferences, uh, where they bring the signal big time, and they're comes with their own little flair. This conference really kind of evolved out of web apps, and it's really grown into a much bigger perspective, where you know, web apps is no longer about the websites, about the mobile. There's a lot of back-end technology, server-side technologies, real-time communications, big data, analytics, all of that's kind of converging in. What this conference represents is kind of that new era of coding. It really is where computer science meets social science. We heard Google up there, we heard um, you know, the, the big surprises that software can provide. And Fluent really is the environment for that. And the vibe of the show here is pure developers. These are the alpha developers out there taking the tires with some new technologies. And literally, just yesterday when we were setting up here, you know, we were talking to folks, you hear about responsiveness apps, new kinds of kind of nomenclature that's being kicked around the development community, talking about real time. This is something that's around the world. Then the table next to us was six guys huddling around coming out of the node. JS uh, workshop, and they were actually coding away some node, uh, some server-side scripting, and really getting their hands dirty in some of the code. But what's really interesting, Jeff, is that uh, my, my take on this is that this really speaks to the mega trend in the marketplace right now, where you have agile programming going to a whole other dimension. As you saw in the past three years, the advent of agile programming about web apps, that kind of is morphing into a whole other dimension, because mobile is a whole different ballgame. It's really hard to be agile on mobile because it's not like the same as a web app, but it requires a different kind of agile. Real-time communications and analytics is something that we're seeing is a huge deal for mobile. Although mobile is very agile and very geosensitive, for example, it's not the same as web app. I mean, literally, web app guys can push 20 code pushes over the weekend. It's really, really difficult to do that on mobile. At the same time, talk to the servers and have that low latency kind of responsiveness. So, Fluid Conference really is about that fluency in programming that really is going to take us into the next millennium in terms of the kinds of requirements. It's not going to be for just for consumer apps. Believe it or not, there's still a big enterprise focus here. I already saw some folks on Twitter talking about BYOD, writing apps in real time. So you're going to see that big flourish of web developers or uh, front-end developers in the enterprise. And again, this reminds me of the glory days of the, of the mainframes uh, and the mini computers where you know, in-house IT shops would hire their own development guys and the development guys would actually build homegrown applications. That essentially is kind of just decimated by the PC revolution. But we're kind of seeing the cloud be that mainframe resource, more elastic, more modular, more flexible, really given the developers and specifically DevOps uh, a real enablement around there. So you're going to hear themes like Node.js, JavaScript, HTML5, server-side scripting, cloud applications, analytics, big data. These, this is the new normal in the developer world where rapid programming, rapid agile, all that stuff is kind of coming together. So again, this is exciting. It's kind of geeky here, and I love it because it's got a software feel to it, which is my background. And uh, again, it's just really cool. Yeah, and, and it, it, the other trend is really the, the citizen developer and really the enablement of these of more and more people to develop. Uh, obviously, Bill Gates had his big uh, dissertation on developing and why software development is so powerful for people. Um, 
we, we invite you to join the conversation. Uh, we're going to try to bring you a little bit of the flavor of what's going on here. We're going to bring you some of the people that are here, the smartest folks we can find. We're going to get them on the cube and ask them great questions. We invite you to join the conversation. The hashtag here for the show is FluentConf. It's FluentConf is the hashtag. You can send us questions. We'll be watching that feed. And again, uh, we will get the great guest and bring you the flavor for what's going on here if you're not uh, so lucky to attend here in San Francisco. So yeah. John's going to be a great day and uh, yeah. actually two days here. Yeah, we've got two days live wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We're going to have the keynote speakers coming in. Uh, we heard from Peter Cooper and uh, Simon St. Laurent, who's been on the Cube before, kind of kick it off. We heard Brendan um, Elix from Mo Mozilla, Irene Ross from uh, Boku, Paul Irish from Google, all getting rave reviews. Um, and some, uh, some just some great, great talks around programming. And then this afternoon is going to be, you can see folks piling out now, a uh, series of ballroom uh, shops segmented. You're seeing uh, removing the friction from your front end web development workflow, hypermedia clients, not rocket science, state of jQuery, um, progressive HTML, the secrets of awesome JavaScript. Again, this is about the front end environment, and you know we we're going to be at all the O'Reilly events. We're going to be at Velocity. We'll hear a lot about cloud there, a lot more of that cloud infrastructure. Here, this is more about the front end developer. This is about user experience. And I will have to say, over the past three years, Jeff, doing the Cube, one of the things that I can say is is that in all the different conversations and events I've gone to from hardcore uh, tech geeks, developers, to the business market, the number one thing that the convergence of big data, software-led infrastructure, software-defined infrastructure, and mobile has really pointed to is that the next breakout successes is going to be about user experience. So this group here in Fluent Conference is really about the user experience. And again, that's the North Star for all these guys. And anything to give them an edge is going to be key. And again, in mobile, it's all about real time. And in web apps, it's about bridging and, and transforming those experiences from web to mobile in a unique, positive end user expectation. And the end user experience is an expectation will ultimately drive the successes and winners. And there's another Pinterest in this crowd. There's another Facebook. There's another Twitter. And believe me, this is just the beginning. Yeah, and again, it's also what, what we uh, we learned in mobile when we were at Accelerator the other day is, is not only is it distributing your application to people in a whole new way, but you've also got all these now distributed devices that we're carrying that are monitors and sensors and can provide all kind of data back into the application as well. And then of course, I think what's really exciting about the application development space is how it's really people bringing together a unique uh, combination of other apps using this API system in a new and creative way that delivers value to the user. So it, it, it continues to be an evolution. Um, one of the keynotes, uh, I think it was, yeah, Brendan talked really too just about how the, the horsepower in the, in the tools as well as the web are enabling development uh, in, in new ways that weren't even possible before. So it's an exciting time to be in software, it's an exciting time to be a developer. We're right here at Ground Zero and we're going to bring you uh, the best that we can find here. Absolutely. Okay, this is a cube. We were on our summer tour. We've been to a lot of events. Uh, <laughs> and we got a lot more coming up. We were at EMC World. We were at ServiceNow. We're at SAP Sapphire. We got IBM Edge. We got HP Discover. We have Velocity. We got Strata. We got Hadoop Summit. We have VMworld, and the list goes on and on. Last year, the cube did 27 events, and this year we'll do close to 40. Our job is to extract a signal from the noise and bring that to you and share that with you. The cube again is that program that we like to bring to events and talk to the people out in the, in the field, entrepreneurs, executives, developers, anyone who can bring that signal, we want to bring that in an open source way and share that with you. Uh, SiliconAngle.com is our site where you'll see blog posts, you'll see the videos, and wikibon.org for the free research. And ultimately, the video, all the video interviews that we do here will go on demand on youtube.com slash siliconangle. And uh, we're going to be right back with our next guest, Peter Cooper, founder of Cooper Press, co-chair here at Fluent Conference. Uh, again, wall-to-wall -wall coverage, this is what we do, we love it. That's exciting conversations, and we want we hope to bring big ideas to you and create more conversation. Of course, we are on Twitter. I am at Furrier, at SiliconAngle. Um, ask us questions. You want to say something, we want, we'll respond to it directly. So we're here for a conversation, and we look forward to talking with you. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break, Peter Cooper, co-chair here at Cooper Press. We'll be right back.